good day. Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're going to show you 20 ways how you can get hurt cleaning up the back of your freaking truck. Hmm? Might be more. There might be more. There could be. I don't know. We're going to have to freaking find out here. Freaking right we are. Before I get started here, I just want to mention, hey Trevor, you forget your underwear, your t-shirt, your toothbrush, and your toothpaste in my trailer you did. Just so you know, eh? Why wouldn't you? The first thing you want to do when you're unloading your truck is, I don't know if you can see, let me just give you a cock of the dock here. You want to make sure you take off any hitch or anything like that protruding out of the back of the truck so you don't skin your, your calf and break it off and end up, you know, going to the hospital with a gouge and get stitches and stuff like that because that thing could tear high the leg off. So you got to be careful of that. So first thing you want to do is remove that. So that's number one. That one could be number two too. But let's get this done. So that's done. So there you go. Now, of course, this list all depends on what you have in your truck as well. So just keep that in mind too. Remember, always be safe. Why wouldn't you? Like me. I'm always safe. So now that's done, we're good. See, we got clearance of the leg, so we're not going to smack down on anything. Next one is, if you have a tunnel cover, you're going to make sure when you open this, you don't get a finger or something jabbed in there and end up tearing off some skin and taking off a fingernail or something like that, because that freaking hurts too. So always make sure you're careful while opening the lock on the tunnel cover. They're all right there. So that's good. See, we're safe. Nothing happened. We're good to go. So next thing, when you're pulling up your tailgate, don't pull it really, really hard because you'll end up maybe catching your finger or something like that or ripping off a freaking fingernail or something like that. So you want to make sure you just, you know, be careful when you're opening them tailgates. They can get pretty freaking difficult sometimes again. So take it easy with them. I can't get hurt drop my tailgate because I have a tailgate assist. Compliments of gold glass and accessories. Why wouldn't they? See? So you can't really get hurt doing that. So we're good there. So next thing you want to do, in my case, what you're seeing here now is I got propane. So propane in the back of a truck, you should always tie it down. I didn't. So, you know, that's another way we get hurt. We could have one roll around, knock the cap off and blow up and have a mess on our hands. So we got to make sure we tie them down next time because that's not a good thing to show you. But when you're taking these out, make sure you don't drop them or anything like that and burn yourself or explode and get all burnt and cocked over because you wouldn't want to do that because they'll explode they'll take right off on you so be careful of that so when you're unloading you want to roll them to the edge of the tailgate like this because they can get and get heavy they can and just give it a little turn and just bend your knees and just slowly you know bring it down and set her down like that so we'll do the same thing with this one just turn her give her a roll give her a turn bend knees set her down you understand that pretty hope you do so next thing you want to do when you're reaching into your truck you want to make sure you don't get a sliver from the wood and stuff that's on your carpet or anywhere. Like you could slide, get a sliver, or stick in your finger and you'd get blood all over the damn place and your carpet's all cocked over. You want to make sure you don't do that as well. So next thing you got to do is you got to take this battery charger out. Now the battery charger, there's not really much you can hurt yourself on unless you happen to grab these incorrectly and you end up pinching them on your, ah, on your finger like that and then it, 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 it hurts. So, Make sure you don't grab it by it and let it go real quick and by accident, you know, grab a finger or something. So we'll get rid of this. So we got, uh, next we got some vice grips and we got some uh, cloths. Make sure there's no chemicals on these cloths because if you have chemicals on them, you get it on your skin, it could burn and freaking hurt. So always make sure that you, you know, you know what you're grabbing before you grab it. Well, get these tools together. Make sure you don't pinch your fingers or anything when you're shutting the Allen keys and stuff like that. Make sure you don't, you know, vice grip yourself in the cock or anything like that because that would freaking hurt too. So let's get these tools and we'll put them away and get rid of the rags. We'll move these over here so we don't trip over them. So next we're gonna unload the gas. The gas lids off on this but it's empty so this one's all right but this one here is pretty tight. Eh? They're tight so it's you gotta watch when you leave it in the back of a pickup truck so it doesn't blow up and cause a real issue. Other than that as long as these lids are tight you shouldn't really hurt yourself too much but don't drop them Splash yourself with fuel because that would burn too. And then you'd feel all hurt, wouldn't feel good, and might get sick and it would suck. Wouldn't it, Mel? So we'll set these down here for now. Bend your knees, boys. Remember, always bend your knees. And this one here is really heavy because it's empty, so be careful with that one. All right, next. Make sure when you take an aluminum beer cans, I don't drink, but this must be from somebody at the track. Aluminum is really sharp, so you want to make sure you don't finger f this thing and end up cutting a finger off. So just remember that too. Always recycle, boys. Gross people. Oh, one other thing. Never leave a gas can or something in front of the tailgate where you can trip over it, and smash your half chewed caramel face off the tailgate, end up having summer teeth, eh? Summer here, summer there. So make sure you fucking don't do that. 
blown them right now. I think we're pretty safe for this one. Unless, you know, you're putting it back together and you end up catching your finger in there and then taking off half a thumb or something, but I think we'll be all right. And the lights too, the lights were pretty safe on. So let's get rid of this stuff. So next we got to climb up into this box, which is going to be kind of a tricky thing here. And just remember, just always be careful when getting in, because if you put your knee up, if you hit the edge like this, you can actually hurt your knee. It doesn't feel very good. So I normally put like my shin on the tailgate and then kind of just give her one of them. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. That way you don't hurt yourself. And also be careful that you don't give yourself a splinter or stick some metal in your knee or something like that too, because that would freaking hurt as well. So next we have dirty old one eye. He's in the way. So we got to get him out of here. Which is going to be tough because, you know, one eye's pretty, he's pretty heavy, he is. So we'll just give him a little turn. Make sure you don't drop it on your foot or anything like that when you're getting out. If you like, don't drag it out with you. Always step out first and then pull it off. Just like that. And then you can, you know, bend your knees to set her down. There we go. Oh, one eye's off. Oh, see this right here? Look at this. See that? That could be potential. To just jab yourself. And that would friggin' hurt. Watch out for things like that, because they can come out of anywhere they can. Frig. That's a weapon. Holy. All right, so, see, more wood, more splinter material. Man, oh man, this truck scared me. There's a lot of dangerous things going on in here. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta move this box out, which is RC parts, which I hardly ever use anymore. But as you notice, it's got some black wire around it to hold some stuff. So you gotta make sure you don't stab an eyeball or something with that. Because you never know when you might hit yourself in the face with this. Depends how pissed off you are. So we'll just put that back there without stabbing anything. Now when you're in here, make sure you don't lift up and hit your head on that and give yourself a concussion. Because you might end up knocking yourself out, having a nice little sleep here, and then somebody find you in a week from now and is thinking to yourself, how come Bill so stinks so much? Because I'm freaking dead, that's why. Be careful. You never know. So we get these remotes out of here. Remember, these all have batteries in them. And they've been in here for like four or five months. So you can have some battery acid coming out of there. You don't want to, and again, you don't want to burn your fingers or anything like that. So just, you know, be careful when you're unloading this stuff. We got some oil here, a little, uh, you know, funnel that we've had oil in. Maybe, maybe a little bit of fuel. So again, we should have some women's sheets on that, but we don't. So you got to make sure that when you're unloading stuff like this, you're doing it yourself. Not having somebody else do it for you. RC cars. RC cars, this one here, we're safe. As long as you don't get something stuck in the rim while you're lifting it out. But other than that, that's pretty safe. We, we are right with that one. These ones here, batteries were left in. Look, the screws off this. So that could actually get caught on the carpet and you could actually end up going to pull it and spraining your wrist and stuff like that. So that would really suck too. So you gotta watch out, you don't sprain your wrist or stuff like that and loading the stuff that grabs the carpet. Cause you never know when something might grab the carpet and just rip your arm right off. But the battery should have been unloaded and it was still plugged in too. So you better unplug that and be careful that it doesn't blow up because it's been in here for a long time, might be overheated. So I'll set that back there and be careful with that. Same with this one. I'm pretty sure that the battery's still plugged in this one. It's been like a month and a half. Look at it. Probably been two months, boys. Girls, peoples. So this is a potential for a biohazard explosion. So Frick, man, there's just so many things that could happen in the back of this truck. It's crazy. Thank God we're okay still. Man, we didn't blow up yet, so we're good. Little piece of wire. Thank God that's not hooked to anything because you never know. Got a remote control in here, just in case. You gotta turn the lights down or something like that. LG, Captain. No lights in there, but we'll leave it in there just in case we need it. I know it doesn't work these. No, see, they're on a switch, so that remote's not for that. Be careful you don't get electrocuted if you're in the back of the shop, too. If you have, like, a little freaking power supply like this, it's 12 volts. Remember, 12 volts is, like, 240 volts, boys. That thing will put you on your ass, and you won't be able to get up in the morning. Okay, so just be careful with that 12-volt stuff. Because, you know, you could damn near kill yourself with it. You believe me? Probably not. I hope you don't. But anyway. Styrofoam. There's a pillow in case you knock yourself out and end up dying in here. You have a pillow. So that's good. We got this thing. If you ever put the step on, just make sure you don't pinch your fingers in that. We should actually put that on. Let's put that on and you can see what it looks like. But other than that, we pretty much got her cleaned out. There's not much left in here. Just my the gear that needs to be left in here. We'll take the RCA DVD players downstairs and put them on the shelves where they belong. And uh, maybe take the batteries out of them. What do you think? I'm thinking it might work. And uh, we'll shoot them good. Remember, make sure you don't fall out of the back of the truck. You don't want to break a hip getting out of the truck. That would suck. So just easy step. 
down. Careful. Here we go. Don't trip over one eye either. Oh, also I forgot to tell you, when you're unloading stuff, make sure you take your time. Especially if you're taking it downstairs, you know, you could always fall down the stairs and break your neck too. So you just gotta make sure you take your time when you're unloading. Especially when you're my age. And fat. Alright, so there we go. Truck's empty, and I might give it a vacuum, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I almost didn't come back from vacuuming the truck. I just wanted to let you know. Um, I was in the back of my truck vacuuming, and the vacuum got stuck to my mouth, and I couldn't breathe. And I thought, I got really lightheaded, I thought I was going to pass out and die. So I almost got uh, suffocated with the vacuum hose. So you got to be careful that you don't uh, get that stuck to your face. Anyways, but look at it. Doesn't it look beautiful, all vacuumed and cleaned out? So that's friggin' decent. So when you shut your tailgate, just make sure you don't, you know, pinch your third willy or something in the tailgate when you're lifting it up, because you never know. And make sure you don't slam your head or your arm or, you know, a leg in this thing when you're closing it. There we go. So that's done. So all I got left to do is throw that receiver in the doodad, and we'll do that together. So you can see all that's done, which I made, by the way. This here is a bill so special. I made that. So beaver. You did? All right, I did. So I'll slap this back in the hole we'll be back to a regular hitting the shim on the uh yogi hole Captain? yeah it actually fits too so there we go anyways i'm going to go on to a safer job i'm going to change the propane and uh switch the gas over to the other gas can maybe light a fire so i'm going to go do something that's a little bit more safe than what i just did hopefully enjoyed it hopefully take advantage of being safe like i did while unloading your pickup truck today's monday we're back from the track and everything went well there Sorry, I couldn't get you the racing, like I said, but it was rained out. So all we got on that video was uh, time trials, or qualifying, I should say. Sorry about that, qualifying. So stay safe like I do. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell for a button if you like this kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more being safe with Dirty Old Bill. So, but until next time, hopefully you're just having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. And you know what to do for now. <laughs>